Shields up, Ironbreakers. Rickon here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And today, as I was, uh, I was just doing a little bit of exploration before I recorded today's episode. And I heard this. Now, when I first heard this, I didn't realize who that was, but then I opened up the map and it shows that Alexander is nearby with the NPC tracker thing. So I wanted to come up here and grab this. Golden Rune 5, and it looks like Alexander is there, and it looks like we can talk to him. Okay. Hey, Alexander. Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a tea. But, uh, it's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. So he's going to be heading. He said eastward. Jesus Christ, when you said eastward, you weren't joking around. Really eastward, because he's going to go to the giant peaks, which are supposedly over here. But yeah, the reason I was here is because I'm looking for, um, I was looking for a specific thing, which is, if you guys remember, there is a great, the great lady, she's here. Her name is Lightseeker Hieta. And I've been looking for the next Chibiri grape, but I haven't found it yet. And you guys are like, well, how do you go from looking for a Chibiri grape to being over here? That's because... I have a picture of Lyurnia, and I suspect, I mean, I don't actually know, but I just wanted to see what the reward was for finding the, um, the painter. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about, the, the whole painter thing here. This. I was wondering, maybe this picture will give me something, but I have no actual idea. And I was trying to find out where I could see this picture from, but haven't come across it yet. Okay, doesn't look like I can actually go that way. Dude, Torrent is an absolute beast. Just straight up rides on top of lava. What an absolute beast. I found the artist's soul. Juvenile scholar cap, scholar robe, and a larval tear. I was actually hoping for a Shibiri grape. I'm be real, I thought there might have been a Shibiri grape here. I don't know where the grape is. That's a damn shame. Also another interesting thing. Uh, oh wait, I gotta actually kill this thing. Die. Can I leave now? Thank you. Also another interesting thing. If we go... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Here she was. If we go here, where she was, because it's like every single time, I mean, I've only picked up the grapes twice. And every time, the grapes have been reasonably close to her. Which is why I've been absolutely scouring this zone. I've been scouring this zone all over. And one thing that I did find was this. Uh, it's not the grape. 
ob obviously. But I did find... Where is it? This. Ice Spear. Ash of War grants an arm of the cold fit of the following skill, Ice Spear. Skill of the Warriors to serve Lunar Priest Ronnie. Spin an armament to release cold magic, then channel it into a piercing spear of ice. Usable on capables, on pole arms capable of thrusting, and twin blades. So I can't use it on my weapon, of course. Because there's almost nothing for hammers, unfortunately. <laughs> but we now have that. Also, I think I picked this up at some point. I don't remember exactly when this was. Or did I pick this up yesterday? I'm a secondary car. I don't know. But anyway, this one, if you guys want to get it, the ice spear thing, uh, just come over here at night, and there is a knight's cavalry. I didn't record it because, I mean, it's like, look, it's a knight's cavalry, all right? You've, you've seen, like, a million of those. It's whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'll keep exploring. Wait, what? Is that a tower over there? There is a tower over there. Have I been up there? I actually don't remember. Might have. You'd have to come in from this side. I think I might have been here. Or maybe I came here on my secondary character. I don't know. This is like blending in. I think I need to stop playing my secondary character. It's like completely blending into to this playthrough. It's just I'm so addicted to the game that I get home and I want to play more. Let's just check to see if there's any loot here or not. Oh, wow, everything's dead. I think we might have done this already. Just a gut feeling, because I don't see any... Oh, there is loot down there, so no, we haven't done this. Oh! Blendstone Craftsman's Cookbook 3. What's atop the tower? What have you got here? You wouldn't happen to have a Shabiri grape on you, would you? Ba boom. He fell off the tower, guys. I swear it wasn't me. Carrion Glint Blade Staff. I swear I thought I'd picked this up already. Ryle Lucarian Robe. Die. Oh, damn, more. Which one of you has the Shibiri Grape? Cough it up. Golden Rune 4. Is that the best you can do? This can't be the end of this zone, though. I haven't gotten um, the notification of flasks received again. That's because I left some of you guys behind, huh? Ow. How about not? Yep, there it is. We got flasks. We cleared the area. Fortunately, no Shibiri grapes. I figured since this tower was... What's the name of this place anyway? Highway Lookout Tower. I figured since this tower was close by, maybe that would have Shibiri grapes, but no. It's like, usually they're close to her. I mean, I say usually. The two times I've picked them up, they've been close to her. But this time... I just don't know. We might end up not completing this quest. Then again, considering all of the things that happened so far, Thea the deathbed dying and whatnot, I think that this, this quest not being completed is not going to be the worst thing ever. Also killed like a death crab that was around here. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Anyway. The benefit of that second character is that yesterday I identified something that I didn't run into with this character. Or at least if I ran into it, I don't remember. But there was a dragon here that I don't remember fighting. 
Uh, which was around here. I think. Not you. Yeah, there it is. For real? For real, my guy? So toxic, dude. Speaking of toxic. So apparently I just ran by here. Or I don't know, maybe the place that I ran through, it didn't include him, but... Yesterday I was running through here and I just like... Saw this dude. He's actually got quite a bit of health. I'm genuinely surprised. Ow. Oh god, and he's Pew's Scarlet Rot. Am I gonna have to go mushroom mode? Oh, you prick! My horse! Well, that's not cool. Okay, this is actually annoying because he's got Scarlet Rot. Jesus. Smacking in the head. No. Crap, he's going to scream. No, 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 Nice try, my dude. But this is the end for you! Crap. It's the end for you! If I can hit you with my hammer. Yeah, that actually comes back as well. Are you for real? Oh, I can't summon my horse. Ah, you fucking dragon! I told you it was the end for you. We got his ass. We got his ass. 
I can't even summon my horse because he died. But I can teleport. And he's dead now, so whatever. Uh, what level am I? Okay, one, two, some, ten. That's good. It's time for us to actually advance because uh, I don't know what else there is in here to do. I think I've done most of the things that I could. So... Actually, I'm curious. Now that I killed Morgoth, wouldn't my boy Height be able to anoint me Lord or something? I'm actually curious if he knows anything about Morgoth being dead. Let's go ahead and pop some more vigor. We're gonna be pumping that vigor. Pump, 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 pump it up. Let's see what's happening over in Fort Height. If our boys got something to say. Watch him be like dead by the demi humans. Like the demi humans just offed him. Y'all will excuse me. Out of the way. Places to be, people to see. Uh, is anybody gonna follow me? It looks like a lot of you are. Okay. Now I gotta kill you. Your executions will be public and brutal. Yeet! What? Oh, damn. Good job. Good job, little dude. Good job. Anybody else want some of this? Or are we good? We good? Good. I just want to have a discussion with Mr. Height here. Hey! My boy! I must begin my search for a really, dude? Stalwart lord. Really, dude? You're worthless. You're worthless. Uh, I probably messed up this quest as well. It is what it is. Uh, we cleared this stuff up all real good. So, therefore, we are now... I'm just gonna head there. Just gonna head to the one spot that we haven't cleared yet in here. That is this. This is gonna be a tough area, I think. Because the enemies that were there were pretty friggin' tough. First time I went through. Let's see how they feel now. <clears throat> Let's see how they feel now. Wait, this ain't it. Underground roadside? Fortified Manor first floor, west capital rampart, lower capital church, avenue balcony. Underground roadside. I no longer know where it is that I was. I don't know what the name of the thing is. I don't want to have to run down there again, because that was annoying. Yep, this is the one. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. So we leveled up. And we're at 31k. We're pretty much good to go. So there's a boy over there. There's two boys over there. Now I'm going to assume I can't open this door, right? Yep. It's a shortcut. So we're going to have to deal with these beefy boys down here. Want some? You look like your Morgan's cousin. You got horns. Damn, I can't break his poise. Oh, he spits death flame. No hugs. Well, at least the fire staggers his ass. Why don't you, uh, just settle down there, big boy? Now, you. Good job. Good job! Ho 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 ho! 
is slammed into the dirt. Into the dirt. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna abuse backstabs because these guys are just like HP sponges. Alright. Our boys are dead. What we got here? Golden Rune 1. Blood soaked manchetes. Blood soaked mask. And there's a drop off point here, and it's a one way drop. Do we really want to go down a one way drop? Must we? Well, I mean, I say it's a one way drop. There's a ladder in here somewhere. I could go kill the other boy, but the other one doesn't bother me. We explored back there last time. Watch down here. Oh, would you look at that? It's Blight Town. I mean, this friggin' reeks of Blight Town. Okay, this pipe doesn't actually lead anywhere. If you fall down there, that's gonna be poisonous water. Okay. So let's try to stay above for now. Now did one of them fall? I do believe they did. I do believe they did. Whoa! Dude came out of nowhere. What the hell? It's just like Blight Town. It's just like Blight Town, guys. Have a grand old time right under Lindell. I put Blight Town down there. Why the hell not? Oh god, and the frame rate matches Blight Town too. The frame rate matches PS3 Blight Town down here, which is great. The authentic Blight Town experience right here. Jesus Christ. Smithing Stone 7! Alright. Where does this go to? Oh! Shortcut. Now, is that boy hornier than normal, or is that just me? That boy's horny. No, actually, that was just me. Eh, no, he's an HP bloat. Burn! Were we dancing the tango there, buddy? Nope. No belching. He's just an extra thick boy. Aw, is this as far as we get to go? There's a door here, though. Nope. Is just sewage. Sewage. That now means that we can get to this spot. 
But why is getting to this spot useful? Well, we did just skip a bunch of gar God damn, dude. I'm gonna die because of this frame rate. I'm not even joking. I'm gonna straight up die because of this frame rate. These guys get so many souls, though. Okay, so I can't go... This, oh, I can go down there, because there was an item down there, if I remember. Somber smithing stone six. Ooh, there's a pipe that I can jump to down here. Look at that. So that's the real shortcut. That frame rate, though. And then from here, I guess the only way is to drop further down. Ah, oh, there's a lobster down here. This is some. Ah, eesh. Eesh. Is it toxic? My health is toxic. Oh, so it's actually not poison down here. All right. Blight Town, not confirmed after all. Okay. Let's get to dealing with this big ass lobster over here. I don't like lobsters. Oh, and this one spits some different type of thing. Is that Scarlet Rot? Why this stop? Is this a red lobster? It's a subspecies. Oh yeah, he's a tough one. Oh god damn it. How much damage did you need to do with that hit? Let's be reasonable here. Oh great, a strip of white flesh, I'm so happy. Filthy ass lobsters. That one's one of the tougher ones as well. Okay, it's leaving. So let's actually move over here. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Smithing Stone 7, baby! Mog's Shackle. Fuck is Mog? It's not a key item. Is this like the Morgoth Shackle that Patches was selling? Margit Shackle. Briefly binds Mog once in prison to Earth. Yeah, it's the same thing as Margit. I wonder if there's one of these for... All of them. Uh, okay, so this might be a shortcut, so we'll want to take that for sure. Oh! Wait, is this a dungeon? Lindell Catacombs. Yeah, this is just straight up a dungeon in the middle of the city. Organic 
that's nice. It's very nice. of them just spawned. They're respawning. It's pretty pointless to kill them. Dude, the frame rate in this place. This is the most egregious it's been. Further shortcuts. Okay. Just unlocking shortcuts on top of shortcuts on top of shortcuts. This is wild. Alright. Not exactly sure why I would need this shortcut though. Because I mean if you go I guess if you miss it's weird. Maybe it's just for level building or something. I don't know. But the point is, there's um, there's a side of Lost Grace down there, so I don't get it. <coughs> so we gotta kill the second lobster. Because I want to grab this sweet, sweet loot down here. That's a glass shard. Smithing stone seven. You don't see me. You don't see me because I'm sneaky like solid snake. So much damage. Why do they gotta do so much damage? Why do they need to do so much damage? Oh god. Yep, I'm dead. That's it's all over. Mother f Lobsters suck, dude. They suck. Don't care. It's closer. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? 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 What you gonna do? Gonna stay out there. That's what you're gonna do. Now let's go ahead and explore this. This isn't even the end of it, though. So actually, before we explore this, I want to do something else. Uh, let us teleport back to where we were, underground roadside, because there's still the place that's a one-way drop uh, close to the other two dudes. I wonder if I can skip them and just jump down there, or will they jump down there with me? They'll probably jump down there with me and try to kill me. Let's see if I can sneak past them, though. This guy's got his back turned. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oops. You didn't see anything. Alright, 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 alright. Dirty rat! Killed my brother! You dirty rat!
All right. Woo! That's dirty. That right there is dirty. By fire, be purged! Dude, what? This thing has so much health. I'm just gonna have to get poisoned, like, there's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. I just need, like, look at this. Like, I mean, we're gonna just sit here, wait for, like, ten years. I'm gonna get poisoned. I don't care, poison me. What? All righty. Screw it. I'll just pop bestial vitality and heal through it. Well, you're gonna be a little nuisance as well, so the hell with it. This friggin' blows. I'm gonna run past them. Like I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's too long. It's too long to kill those. So I'll just run past them. Get poisoned along the way, get healed on the other side. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And there's a ladder at the end. There's not even any loot there. This is just straight up bait to slow you down. Is that him? I think that might be him. Oh god! You mother fuck! You fucking- oh, I'm so mad! I'm so fucking mad! Oh, you son of a- Really? You pull this on me? You pull this on me? How dare you? Is he gonna just attack me? It's like, I don't wanna let him out. I think that this is a bad idea. I mean, I'm gonna kill him. Who are you? Oh, I am the Dome Gator. A scourge upon the living. I must eat more, defile more. Let me out. Let me out of here. I am the Dome Gator. A scourge upon.
Should I release him? Hmm. Mm. Can I close the door again? Oh no, that door is open. Let me out. Let me out of here. I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. <laughs> Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Along with their children and their children's children. For all time to come. I will kill again, just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. No, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna let you do that. Not this playthrough. Whoa, 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 we just fucking parried me. My guy. Haha, <laughs> you can't heal. Did he really just get- Oh, that's sad. He just get stuck in there and not do anything. Omen helm, omen armor, omen gauntlets, omen greaves, sword of Milos. So wait, omen, fell omen. Let's take a look at his armor. See what it says. Like I don't want him defiling people. I think what he's doing is disgusting. Malformed armor resembling an omen with its horns cut off. Worn by the Dung Eater. The heavy sun-shaped medallion represents both the guidance he once saw and the ring to which it will one day lead. So he wants to be the Elden Lord. Damn. Oh, I never did read Alexander's uh, helmet. Should do that. Malformed helm resembling an omen. It's not an. It wasn't a helmet, actually. It was an amulet. Malformed helm resembling an omen with its horns cut off, worn by the Dung Eater. Its form is a vision of the landscape of his mind. And of his appearance as he wished to see it. The heart of an omen without the body to match. Could there be any crueler existence? What does it matter then if the curse claims it all? Was it a helmet? I thought it was a helmet. No, it was a helmet. Jar that fits cleanly over the head when upturned, made with pride by Iron Fist Alexander. It's a uniquely jar-like gest in a uniquely jar-like gesture of friendship, it boosts the power of throwing pot items. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, anyway, let's look at the gloves. Worn by a thunger, their form is a vision of the landscape, it is a mind- uh, okay, yeah, the heart of an omen without a body- yeah, this is the same thing. Now I'm curious, would he still show up in... No, he can't be there anymore, right? <clears throat> Maybe I can talk to Rodrika and tell her, listen, I killed that fool, he's dead. He's gone forever, he's never gonna torment you. Don't worry about it, Rodrika. Although I think his quest might actually be interesting. We'll save that one for another playthrough. This playthrough we're doing Volcano Manor. I mean, I, I don't even know, at the end of the day, I don't even know what the, uh, what the implications of all this bullshit is, but this playthrough we're doing Volcano Manor stuff because we want to go against the Earth Tree and the Round Table Hold. Are you here for spirit? I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal.
immortal essence exists, a spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings, what they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually, that I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Roderica, the certified spirit tuner. Can you fix the other hawk that I have that will not answer my summons? I guess that's not a thing yet. Why is this one a different color? Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is the one that I want. We maxed out the hawk. Greetings. Are you here for? Let me see if me resting will advance her stuff. I don't think it will, but. Greetings. Are you here for? Okay. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for no matter, it's all about you. The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft. And it isn't easy. He's gone soft. Okay, so it looks like we have enough sevens to upgrade. Yes! Take me further! Back already. No matter. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? He doesn't speak any more than that. Alrighty then, in that case, I think it's time we head out to the catacombs. The catacombs! Uh, where the hell is it? Jesus Christ, there's just so much in this map now that I don't even know anymore. Uh, Lindell Catacombs. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. The boss door is right here. Some tells me lightning's gonna be used here. Maggot boys. I thought you were going to use lightning because water, but maggot boys. These guys aren't really worth the effort. Is that one in flames? All of these are in flames, huh? There's a thick boy in here. Only you, thick boy? You can buff your axe. Good job.
Nice tracking, but not good enough. Crucible Scale Talisman. Reduces damage taken from critical hits. Talisman fashioned from a scale that embodies the aspects of various creatures, said to have grown on the human body long ago. Ugh! Reduces damage taken from critical hits. Vestige of the Crucible of Primordial Life, born partially of de-evolution. It was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdain as impurity, as an impurity as civilization has advanced. Yeah, it is disdain. It's disgusting. And probably mostly used for PvP. Oh, this is the starter zone. Where's the dude who spewed these people into existence? <sighs> Are we gonna be looking at a secret wall? That's what it feels like. And if there is one, it'd be this one. No? Hmm. Maybe this isn't the starting one. If it was the starting one, then this would be the boss room. Oh wait, why is the door open? fast, dude. Should have waited for me to aggro this one. You can't summon here, so this is not a traditional boss fight. Golden Rune 11. I am very confused. I expected this to be a usual dungeon. But I guess that's not the case. This is just to come and get some stuff. <clears throat> Wait, what? Where the hell am I? Oh wow, this is a completely different place actually.
What the hell? There's something really weird going on here. What the hell is- cause like, I'm going around in circles, but things are changing. This is not normal. Come on! Thank you. <clears throat> Dude, this dungeon is like confusing the ever-living crap out of me. I found a path I haven't been to yet. I just got stuck in here. Because I couldn't figure out what was going on. I even turned off the music because I was trying to find this sound that I kept hearing. Let me go ahead and turn the music back on. There it is. Dude, this dungeon is designed to confuse you so that you leave. Dude, I thought about leaving so many times. I'm like, I'll just leave. But no. 
If you do, you'll never face the actual boss of the dungeon. I am very impressed. I am extremely impressed with this dungeon. It's basically two dungeons layered on top of one another with the exact same layout, except when you're in the other one that I just was, you'd get here and there wouldn't be a bonfire. It was, oh my god, dude, this thing was blowing my mind. I bet the boss that's in here is going to be extremely important. Just, just, a, just an, a hunch. Esgar, Priest of Blood. Esgar's got two dogs. This is gonna be an absolute pain. Yep, there it is. God damn! Everything bleeds. Okay. There you go. You just get the boom hammer full force. Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Now, oh, what the hell does that do? Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Oh my god. That is disgusting. You use this with a bleed weapon, it's just like, oh, did you just take a ton of damage? Let me just deal more damage, dude. Blood is broken in this game. Like, people are talking about, oh, spirits are so overpowered. Motherfuckers probably rocking two fucking Uchi Gatanas and going like, oh, hey, if you play with spirits, you suck. Suck my dick with your fucking dual Uchis. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Especially with items like that. What the fuck? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Thank you all very much for uh, watching. If you guys are enjoying the Elden Ring blind playthrough, then hit it up with a like. If you are not, then hit it up with a dislike. Feedback is always appreciated. Um, and uh, subscribe, bell notification, I got all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong, stay safe. Peace out.